children this is Deepika Bhaskar from GKG School today i am going to take class for standard subject science and the lesson name is organ system in this system we are going to learn about the digestive system respiratory system and the excretory system where do we get energy for our body children we get energy for our body from the food we eat how is the food converted into energy? It is through the process called digestion. After we eat the food, the waste products are removed from the body. This process is involved in this is called excretion. The waste are removal in this stage. We need oxygen to survive. The body gets the oxygen through the lungs. This process is called respiration. These processes are carried out by the different organs in our body. Now we are going to see the different types of organs and the organ systems in our body and their function. Let us go into the digestive system. What does it mean by digestive system? We are all needing now. The digestion process starts with the mouth and ends with the anus. The food we eat consists of complex compounds like carbohydrates, proteins and fats. We eat variety of foods. They have to be converted into simpler molecules like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol respectively. These simpler molecules are then assimilated either by the blood or lymph in order to give us energy. The process of conversion of complex particles into smaller food molecules is called digestion. The digestive system can be divided into digestive tract and the digestive glands. What does it mean by digestive tract? The food which we intake, it is taking the digestion from the mouth itself. It has a saliva, it is digested with the saliva from the mouth and it is going through the esophagus, then it reaches the large intestine and small intestine. The, then the waste, the, it absorbs the vitamins, minerals and carbohydrates, fatty acids and all to the body and it removes the waste in the anus. It is a oil muscular tube extending from the mouth to anus. It is about 6 to 9 meters long and it consists of many organs in they are arranged one by one, like mouth, this is buccal cavity, esophagus, then this is pancreas, this one is a large intestine, this is small intestine, this one is rectum and this is anus. These organs are takes part in the digestion process. Now, we are going to see the digestive glands. There are three important glands are in the digestive glands. The main thing is parotid gland. The next one is sublingual. And this one is the submandibular gland. These three important digestive glands are associated with the process of digestion or salivary glands pancreas and liver. The salivary gland secretes saliva which moistens food. Saliva contains enzymes which break down the complex starch into the simple carbohydrate molecules. The pancreas produces the pancreatic juice which contains the digestive enzyme for the digesting fats. Liver produces the 
by for the digestion of fat now we are going to the, see the respiratory system in detail the respiratory system provides oxygen to the tissues of the body and removes carbon dioxide from the tissues what is mean by the respiratory system it inhaling the oxygen and exhaling the carbon dioxide there are three major parts forming the respiratory system the first one is the airway lungs and the muscles of respiration now we are going to see the airway the airway includes the nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea and the lungs it carries the air between the lungs and the surrounding now we are going to see the lungs the lungs are the primary organs for the respiratory system there are pair of lungs there are two lungs are there and it is a cone shape they are located near the backbone of the both sides of the heart muscles of respiration now we are going to see the muscles of respiration muscles of respiration include the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles they act as a pump and push the air in and out of the lungs during the breathing it takes the air and release the air it use acts as a pump and the push now shall we label the parts children this is a nasal cavity this one is a pharynx nostril larynx this one is trachea it is divided into two this one is a bronchus this is a right lung and this is the left lung these are cone shape and this one is a alveoli these are the small small branches or is bronchioles and this one is a diaphragm this is used in the muscles of respiration in this session we have seen about the digestive system and the respiratory system tomorrow we will see about the excretory system and the circulatory system thank you children